Hi, welcome to Fun Science with Rohini. Today's experiment is a proof of heliocentric theory and it was provided by Galileo Galilei. Aristarchus was one of the first persons to have proposed heliocentric theory which was popularized by Copernicus and Copernicus wrote a six volume book about heliocentric theory but the proof of heliocentric theory was provided by Galileo Galilei. He used his telescope to provide the proof. Fortunately, at the time Galileo lived, there were telescopes and he pointed his telescope at the skies and he provided proof for the heliocentric theory. Till the proof came across, even during Galileo's period after he gave the proof, heliocentric theory was not accepted. They stuck to geocentric theory and Galileo was punished for his proof. Geocentric theory was uh, popularized by Ptolemy and it says that Earth is at the center of the universe and all the planets including Mercury, Venus, Moon, Sun, though they are not planets, Moon, Sun and the other planets like um, Saturn and Jupiter, those that were known back then, uh, revolved around Earth. They considered Earth as the center of the solar system and Sun orbited around the Earth, Venus orbited around the Earth and this is an epicycle that is planets have uh, smaller cycles in which they uh, revolve or in which they move about. Uh, Ptolemy proposed a lot of epicycles for the planets to um, uh, support the observations that are seen in the sky. So geocentric theory was very very popular uh, over centuries and uh, people refused to budge from this idea and accept that the sun could be the center of the solar system instead of the earth. So when Galileo pointed his telescope at the skies, he found that Venus has phases just like the moon. Just like lunar phases, Venus also has phases. Now, if it was a geocentric theory, then Venus will never ever have a very bright, a very bright um, appearance to viewers viewing it from the earth. If you look up from the earth, if you see all these phases, there's a dark phase and a light phase, dark phase and a light phase, but never a complete uh, bright appearance of Venus. Galileo, as soon as he observed this, is supposed to have written uh, to his contemporary saying that mother of love has phases similar to Cynthia. Cynthia was the moon and mother of love is obviously Venus. And the brightness of Venus is uh, at times very noticeable in the skies and that could not be accounted for in the geocentric theory. But if you put the sun at the center of the solar system and if it is a heliocentric theory and if we consider that Venus is revolving around the sun and Earth is one of the other planets that is revolving around the sun, then the phases of Venus or the brightness and the fading of Venus can be predicted correctly. Therefore, Galileo chose heliocentric theory. If you see this, the sun is in the center and observer from the earth is watching Venus. In these phases, it is similar to the phases as in geocentric theory. In these phases also, it is nearly similar, half moon here. 
instead of half moon it is half venus here half lit venus we are observing from the earth so we see half venus but here when we are observing from earth we see a completely brightened face of venus like full moon we see the brightest face of venus in these two phases when we are observing from the eye and when venus and earth are revolving around the sun therefore this phases of venus which are similar to the phases of the moon can be accounted for this is a fact now in science you always um, propose your theories to support the fact and this is a fact and galileo said that it is a heliocentric solar system wherein sun is the center and the stationary and the planets are the ones that revolve around the sun and this is a simple proof he provided apart from this he also observed the moons of jupiter later on they were called galilean moons and when he observed the moons of jupiter he said that not all objects in the solar system revolve around the earth some of them revolve around their own planets earlier in geocentric theory it was considered that all objects in the solar system revolve around the earth but when galileo uh, saw jupiter's moons four moons of jupiter were what galileo spotted when he saw those moons he wrote a statement that not all objects in the solar system revolve around the earth and that was further proof of the heliocentric theory thank you